today we will discuss the problems on matrices so here we have discussed two problems on uh, column transformations and uh, row transformations so we have take matrix a here is also take a matrix a and uh, we discuss the solution we discuss the solution so a is given reduce uh, this matrix a to i3 i3 means identity matrix of three order identity matrix of three order using column transformation using column transformation so we let a equal to a equal to 1 0 0 first row second row 2 1 0 third row 3 3 and 1 third row 3 3 and 1 so we use the only column transformation here because uh, here mention only column transformation so here is already one so by and uh, here is already two numbers are zero so we don't require make the this number as a zero here is also second diagonal number is one so this uh, by using this uh, second diagonal number we make this number and this number as a zero by using column transformation so here here is already zero so only make uh, this number as a zero so this is a first column this is a second column and this is a member of first column so this is c1 this is a c2 we want to make uh, this number as a zero that is a c1 so by c1 ये नंबर यहाँ मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे तो क्या होगा टू एंड टू माइनस टू जीरो होगा इसलिए हम क्या करेंगे माइनस टू वन मिस सी टू सो सी वन माइनस टू सी टू सो इक्वल टू व्हाट ए ए इज इक्विवेलेंट टू वन here is a, this a second column as it is, third column also as it is. So, 0, 1, 3, 0, 0, and last 1. Here is also C1 minus 2 C2. Means a C1 is 1 minus 2 C2. 2 C2 means 2 into 0. 1 minus 0, 1. Here is also C1 is a 2 minus 2 into C2 means 2 into 1, 2. 2 minus 2, 0. And uh, lastly, C1 is 3. 3 minus 2 into 3, 6. 3 minus 6, minus 3. 3 minus 6, minus 3. In this manner, by using this uh, second diagonal number, we make the near uh, near near numbers numbers near to the this uh, second diagonal number with this number and this number we make as a zero. Again, we make using this uh, third diagonal number, we make a uh, near. Two numbers are zero. Near two numbers are zero using column transformation. So how this possible? Here is a one. So क्या होगा? अगर इस one को इस number से multiply करेंगे तो क्या होगा? Three. और ये three minus three क्या होगा? Zero हो सकता है. यहाँ भी देखिए अगर इस number को three से multiply किया और plus ये minus three किया तो minus three plus three क्या होगा zero होगा and uh, therefore we use by this uh, 
this is a column c1 this is a column c2 and uh, this is a column c3 so we make c1 plus 3 plus 3 this is uh, 1 is c3 1 is c3 1 is the member of third column so we write c3 also we want to make this number as a 0 so this is c2 as it is minus 3 into 1 1 is the member of third column c3 so 3 c3 so what we get a is equivalent to c1 plus 3 c3 and c2 minus 3 c3 so third column as it is because uh, change only column c1 and uh, column second c2 so 0 0 1 as it is so c1 plus 3 c3 means uh, 1 plus 3 into 0 1 plus 3 into 0 0 1 plus 0 1 again c1 means second number of first column 0 plus 3 into c3 means this 0 0 plus 3 into 0 0 0 plus 0 again 0 again this uh, minus 3 is a c1 third number of the column first minus 3 plus plus 3 into c3 means third number of third column means 3 into 1 3 minus 3 plus 3 0 minus 3 plus 3 0 again here by c2 minus 3 c3 0 minus 3 into c3 c3 means the first number of third column so 0 minus 3 into 0 means 0 0 minus 0 again 0 similarly 1 minus 3 into c3 means 3 into 0 1 minus 0 again 1 again this is c2 c2 minus 3 c3 c2 means this 3 minus 3 into c1 3 into c1 means last third number of the column third so 3 into 3 3 into this one 3 3 minus 3 0 and uh, in this manner this is a diagonal matrix having a diagonal numbers as a only 1 1 1 and uh, we make uh, this uh, a as a i3 this is a 3 by 3 3 by 3 identity matrix in the same manner we reduce uh, this uh, second matrix to identity matrix using row transformation using row transformation so we discuss the solution so a is given a equal to a equal to 2 1 3 2 1 3 second row 1 0 1 and third row 1 1 1 so here is a first diagonal number is a here the first diagonal number is 2 so we want to make this uh, diagonal number as a this uh, diagonal number as a 1 we want to make this uh, 2 as a 1 i want instead of 2 1 so how we make this so here is a look carefully this is a second row 
if we shift to this uh, second row for this uh, first row what happen 1 0 1 and uh, this uh, first row interchange with the uh, second row means uh, second row be uh, first row become second row what happen 2 1 0 so automatically here is the one diagonal number and also here here is the one diagonal number so we interchange this is a first row r1 this is second row r2 and this is third row r3 we interchange first row r1 with second row r2 by r1 interchange by r2 by r1 interchange by r2 therefore a equivalent to आपका फर्स्ट रो सेकंड रो बनेगा सेकंड रो फर्स्ट रो बनेगा वन जीरो वन टू वन थ्री एंड लास्ट रो एज इट इज वन 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 सो हेर इज अ जीरो रो इन द रो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन in the row transformation use uh, first diagonal number and uh, make the numbers number size 0 be below this one below this one again same use this uh, second diagonal number make the second diagonal number as one and make uh, the above and uh, above and below number as a zero by using this one using row transformation and by using last third diagonal number using make this above two numbers as a zero by using row transformation this is a simple idea for a row transformation so what by using this one we make this two as a zero this one as zero how so yaha pe agar is number se is number ko multiply karne se kya hoga 2 मिलेगा और 2 minus 2 क्या होता है 0 इसलिए हम क्या करेंगे by this 2 means member of second row r2 देरपूर हम यहां r2 लिखेंगे यहां पे 2 से multiply करने से 2 से multiply करने से और subtraction लेने से आप हम यहां 0 मिलता है इसलिए हम यहां लिखेंगे 2 और 1 is the member of First row R1. So here is the R1. Same here is the one. So one minus one zero, and therefore we directly write R3 R3 minus R1 because one is the member of third row, and this one is the member of first row. So R3 minus R1, R3 minus R1. Therefore, A equivalent to A equivalent to first row as it is 1, 0, 1 because uh, operations only made in the R2 and R3. This uh, part and this uh, part also as it is. So, R2 is a uh, 2 2 minus 2 into r1 means uh, r2 is a 2 2 minus 2 into r1 is 1 2 minus 2 0 2 minus 2 0 again here is a r2 is a 1 1 minus 2 into r1 means this second number this is a second number of r2 this is a 0 is the second number of r1 so 1 minus 2 into 0 0 1 minus 0 1 again here is a third number of r2 3 minus 2 into third number of first row r1 means uh, 1 2 into 1 2 3 minus 2 1 
थ्री माइनस टू वन एंड आर थ्री माइनस आर वन मीन्स थर्ड रो माइनस फर्स्ट रो सो वन माइनस वन जीरो वन माइनस जीरो वन वन माइनस वन जीरो सो हेर इज वी गेट बिलो दिस वन और टू नंबर आर जीरो ऑल्सो दाइज इन दिस सेकंड डायगोनल नंबर वी मेक अब नंबर एंड बिलो नंबर इज जीरो बट ऑलरेडी हेर इज अ जीरो सो वी मेक दिस ओनली वन नंबर एज अ जीरो बट हेर इज अ वन माइनस वन जीरो एंड देर फोर वी ओनली मेक आर थ्री माइनस दिस आर टू आर थ्री माइनस आर टू सो बाय आर थ्री माइनस दिस आर टू सो वॉट एपन ए इज अ इक्वेलन टू सो आर थ्री ओनली चेंज फर्स्ट टू रो एस इट इज वन जीरो वन जीरो वन वन एंड थर्ड रो आर थ्री थर्ड रो माइनस सेकंड रो सो जीरो माइनस जीरो जीरो वन माइनस वन जीरो जीरो माइनस वन माइनस वन सो हेर वी गेट माइनस वन एंड बाइज इन दिस माइनस वन वी मेक दिस अब टू नंबर आर जीरो मीन्स वन माइनस वन जीरो एंड दिस वन माइनस वन जीरो एंड देर फोर बाय बाय दिस आर वन प्लस दिस दिस इज आर वन This is a second row R two. This is a third row R three. So by R one plus R three and this R two plus R three, R two plus R three, we get the total identity matrix. So here. वन प्लस जीरो वन जीरो प्लस जीरो जीरो वन माइनस वन वन आर टू प्लस आर थ्री सेकेंड रो प्लस थर्ड रो जीरो प्लस जीरो जीरो वन प्लस जीरो वन वन माइनस वन जीरो and uh, remaining is 0 0 1 0 0 1 but here uh, we want this 1 minus 1 here is actually 0 this 1 uh, minus 1 means r1 plus r3 so 1 minus 1 0 and only remaining this uh, number we want uh, this number as a uh, 1 but here is a uh, minus 1 so How make this um, minus one as a one? So dividing this uh, number by itself, we get the one. So what happen? Here is a by this row, third row R three by R three upon minus one R three upon minus one. What we get? A is equivalent to A is equivalent to one zero zero one zero 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 one zero zero one zero and lastly zero upon minus one zero zero upon minus one zero and minus one upon minus one plus one. so in this manner this is a 3 by 3 identity matrix all diagonal numbers are 
remaining non diagonal numbers are zero and uh, by using row column row transformation also column transformation we convert any square matrix into the identity matrix so we discuss also more problems yahan pe problem hai check whether following matrices are invertible or not so for matrices the one condition for uh, inverse is if uh, determinant a equal to zero if determinant a equal to zero then that matrix has no inverse if a determinant is non zero if determinant is non zero then a matrix has a inverse or uh, if a determinant if a matrix has a non zero determinant then uh, that uh, matrix is called as invertible matrix so by using this uh, definition we solve all this uh, for you problems so first matrix we assume let a equal to let a equal to given matrix 1 1 1 1 1 and uh, we find the determinant of this matrix so determinant of a equal to what determinant of given matrix so determinant 1 1 1 2nd row 1 1 so how how expand this determinant this is a first row second row this is first column second column so this is a second order determinant so by definition of expansion of second order determinant this number into this number so 1 into 1 minus this number multiply this number means minus 1 into 1 and uh, 1 into 1 what 1 minus this is 1 into 1 what 1 so equal to 0 so determinant of uh, a equal to what determinant a equal to 0 determinant a equal to 0 and uh, therefore this uh, matrix a this uh, matrix a has uh, no inverse has no inverse means a is not invertible that is a is not a is not invertible inverse table similarly we discuss the second matrix so suppose uh, let a equal to we discuss the second matrix let a equal to what given matrix 1 0 0 1 means uh, this is a identity matrix so 1 0 0 1 again uh, this matrix is also 2 by 2 matrix here we find the determinant of also this uh, matrix so therefore determinant of a equal to what so determinant of this given matrix so 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 0, 0, 1 equal to this is a 2 by 2 order uh, determinant so what is the procedure same procedure uh, for, like uh, the this procedure so 1 into 1 1 minus 0 into 0 0 into 0 0 1 minus 0 1 so determinant of a is equal to 1 is this number is a 0 no this is a non zero so determinant of a is 
not equal to zero, and uh, therefore this uh, matrix is a invertible. This uh, matrix is a invertible, and therefore A is a invertible. A is invertible. Again, we discuss a uh, third uh, very interesting problem, which uh, contains uh, trigonometric uh, functions. Again, we assume this uh, given uh, matrix is a uh, A. So let A equal to given matrix first row cos theta sine theta. Second row. Minus sine theta cos theta minus sine theta cos theta and we find again determinant of this matrix for uh, checking of the invertibility of this matrix. So determinant A equal to Again, uh, all the uh, numbers of the matrix in a determinant notation. So, first row, cos theta, sin theta, second row, minus sin theta, cos theta, and uh, we solve this by same because uh, this is a uh, Again, second order determinant, two rows and uh, two columns. Here we discuss cos theta into cos theta, cos theta into cos theta minus this number into this number. So, sin theta into minus sin theta minus sin theta equal to cos theta into cos theta what? cos square theta and here is a minus minus plus and this uh, sin theta into sin theta what? sin square theta So, do you know the identity sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to what? Recall sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to what? Sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to always 1. So, equal to 1. So, determinant A equal to 1. This is not equal to 0. This is a non zero determinant and therefore given matrix A is invertible given matrix A is invertible
फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ मैट्रिक्स इज इनवर्टिबल और नॉट सो वी सॉल्व फर्स्ट फोर्थ मैट्रिक्स सो लेट ए इक्वल टू गिव हर मैट्रिक्स सो फर्स्ट रो इज थ्री फोर थ्री सेकेंड रो वन वन जीरो एंड से थर्ड रो वन फोर फाइव सो डिटर्मिनेंट वी फाइंड डिटर्मिनेंट ए इक्वल टू डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ गिवन मैट्रिक्स सो थ्री फोर थ्री सेकेंड रो वन वन जीरो एंड लास्ट थर्ड रो वन फोर फाइव सो दिस इज अ थ्री ऑर्डर डिटर्मिनेंट और थ्री बाय थ्री डिटर्मिनेंट बिकॉज इन दिस डिटर्मिनेंट थ्री रोज एंड थ्री कॉलम्स प्रेजेंट सो expansion of this uh, determinant is done by using first row using first row so equal to 3 into we use the first number of first row this is a 3 3 is the first number into minor of this 3 minor of this minor of 3 minus second number of first row means 4 4 into minor of minor of 4 and last plus 3 into means uh, last number of first row into minor of this last number into minor of 3 which is equal to 3 into what is minor of 3 so what is the meaning of minor minor of the any number is the determinant obtained by deleting row and uh, column passing through that uh, number passing through that number here is a minor of 3 minor of 3 means uh, delete column and row passing through this number and take the determinant of remaining four number so determinant of 1 0 4 5 1 0 4 5 minus this 4 into again determinant of minor of 4 into minor of 4 means delete row and a column passing through this number means what remaining row column delete so what remaining 1 0 1 5 0 again plus 3 into minor of 3 minor of 3 this is the last number and uh, delete row column passing through this number so what remaining 1 1 1 4 so take the determinant of this remaining four numbers so here 1 1 One four, so equal to three into bracket what? One into five, one into five, five. Here the all these uh, determinants are second order, so only we use the idea one into five, five minus. This number into this number means zero into four, zero, 
माइनस फोर एज इट इज इंटू ब्रैकेट अगेन वन इंटू दिस नंबर इंटू दिस नंबर मीन्स वन इंटू फाइव फाइव माइनस दिस नंबर इंटू दिस मीन्स जीरो इंटू वन अगेन जीरो एंड लास्टली प्लस थ्री इंटू ब्रैकेट दिस नंबर इंटू दिस मीन्स वन इंटू फोर फोर माइनस दिस वन इंटू दिस वन मीन्स वन इंटू वन वन इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू ब्रैकेट फाइव माइनस जीरो फाइव माइनस फोर इंटू ब्रैकेट फाइव माइनस जीरो फाइव प्लस थ्री इंटू ब्रैकेट फोर माइनस वन थ्री इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू फाइव फिफ्टीन माइनस फोर इंटू फाइव ट्वेंटी प्लस थ्री इंटू थ्री नाइन इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन प्लस नाइन और ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर सो डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ ए इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो एंड देर फोर बाय डेफिनेशन ऑफ इनवर्टिबल मैट्रिक्स मैट्रिक्स ए इज इनवर्टिबल ए इज इनवर्टिबल ए इज इनवर्टिबल मैट्रिक्स Again, we discuss uh, last matrix for uh, invertibility. So, again, we assume this uh, given uh, matrix as uh, A. So, let A equal to matrix first row one to three, second row. Two minus one three, and the last row one two three, one two three. Here is a look carefully all the rows of this uh, matrix. This is a first row one two three, and this is the last row again one two three. So. Two rows are same, so that the determinant of this uh, matrix will be zero according to the rules of determinant. According to the rules of determinant, but uh, we check. Okay, for our uh, discussion, we check. So determinant A equal to determinant of this uh, matrix one. Two, three, two minus one, three, and last one, two, three. So by using this uh, definition, first um, first number of first row into minor of that number minus second number of first row, uh, second number of first row. Into minor of that number plus third number of first row into minor of that number. So equal to one. This is one. One into minor of minor of this one means one. Delete row and column passing through this number means one into. What remaining in determinant? Here is a minus one three two three minus one three two three 
अगेन माइनस दिस सेकंड नंबर टू इनटू द डिटरमिनेंट व्हाट दिस इज अ कॉलम रो डिलीटेड सो व्हाट रिमेनिंग टू थ्री वन थ्री एंड टेक द डिटरमिनेंट एज इट इज टू थ्री वन थ्री एंड लास्ट प्लस थ्री इनटू माइनर ऑफ दिस नंबर लास्ट नंबर सो डिलीट रो एंड कॉलम पासिंग थ्रू दिस नंबर सो व्हाट रिमेनिंग टू माइनस वन एंड वन टू सो टेक द डिटरमिनेंट एज इट इज सो टू माइनस वन वन एंड टू वन एंड टू इक्वल टू अगेन वी एक्सपांड द दिस डिटरमिनेंट ऑफ टू ऑर्डर by using the same rule one into this uh, minus one into this number three minus one into three minus three minus this uh, number three into this number two three into two six minus two again this is a second order determinant so this number 2 into this number 3 2 into 3 6 minus this number 3 into 1 3 plus this uh, 3 into this uh, number 2 into this number 2 2 into 2 Four minus this minus one into one again uh, minus one so equal to one into minus three minus six what minus nine minus three minus six minus nine minus two into bracket six minus three. Three plus three into bracket. Here is the minus minus plus so four plus one five equal to one into minus nine minus nine minus two into three six plus. Three into five, fifteen minus fifteen minus nine minus six means minus fifteen plus fifteen equal to zero. So determinant of uh, this matrix equal to zero, and therefore this uh, matrix is not invertible. So you can directly actually write a uh, determinant A equal to zero by since These are two rows are equal, and therefore determinant of a equal to zero, and therefore a is a invertible. If अगर आपको ऐसा quickly समझ में आया तब लिखो. Otherwise follow the procedure of determinant. कभी-कभी हर student को ये possible नहीं होगा. Quickly understand नहीं होगा कि यहाँ पे दो row same है. तो डिटरमिनेंट जीरो होगा तो अगर आपको क्विकली नहीं क्लिक हुआ तो डायरेक्टली फाइंड द डिटरमिनेंट सो ए इज इनोवर्टिव ए इज इनोवर्टिव ए इज नॉट इनोवर्टिव बिकॉज डिटरमिनेंट ए इक्वल टू जीरो सो ए इज नॉट इनोवर्टिव matrix and in this manner we check the all this given uh, matrices for uh, invertible or not invertible problems mein dekhe dekha hai jo five matrix the us usme se ek jo matrix tha wo identity matrix tha 1 0 0 1 so uska determinant aaya tha 1 uska determinant aaya tha 1 अगर आप थ्री बाई थ्री 
थ्री बाई थ्री आइडेंटिटी मैट लेंगे तो भी उसका डिटर्मिनेंट कितना आएगा वन बिकॉज आइडेंटिटी एवरी आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स हैज अ डिटर्मिनेंट वन एवरी आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स हैज अ डिटर्मिनेंट वन सो वी डिस्कस वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एक्चुअली हेयर प्रॉब्लम दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम ए इक्वल टू दिस इज अ गिवन डायगोनल मैट्रिक्स एक्स वाई जेड रिमेनिंग नंबर आर जीरो फाइंड ए इनवर्स बाय रो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन बाय रो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो वी स्टार्ट द सोल्यूशन लेट ए इक्वल टू गिवन मैट्रिक्स दिस इज एक्स जीरो 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 वाई जीरो एंड लास्ट जीरो जीरो जेड वॉट इज अवर प्रोसिजर फॉर फाइंडिंग एन वर्स बाय रो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन लेट a into a inverse equal to i equal to identity matrix i here is a a is a 3 by 3 matrix means a three order matrix so this i is a identity matrix of also three order so we we'll put this a instead of this a so what we get फर्स्ट रो एक्स जीरो जीरो सेकेंड रो जीरो वाई जीरो एंड लास्ट रो जीरो जीरो एंड झेड इन टू दिस एनवर्स एज इट इज इक्वल टू वॉट आई थ्री मीन्स डायगोनल नंबर आर वन वन थ्री डायगोनल नंबर आर वन रिमेनिंग नंबर आर जीरो रिमेनिंग नंबर आर एर जीरो एंड वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड एन वर्स बाय रो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मीन्स वी वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट दिस डायगोनल मैट्रिक्स और दिस स्क्वेर मैट्रिक्स इन टू Identity matrix and uh, I into a inverse. I means one. Suppose I is one. One into a inverse. A inverse equal to this is this this square matrix. So how can you convert this uh, ma identity matrix uh, or uh, this uh, square matrix into identity matrix? यहाँ पे स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स है और यहाँ पे ये डायगोनल मैट्रिक्स है इसको हमें कन्वर्ट करना है आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स में बाय यूजिंग रो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट रो आर वन दिस इज सेकंड रो आर टू एंड दिस इज थर्ड रो आर थ्री so direct uh, dividing this uh, first row by x this uh, second row by y and this uh, third row by z we get the identity matrix we get identity matrix and therefore by r1 divided by x first row divided by x second row divided by y and uh, third row divided by z similarly this operations operate on this right hand side matrix so therefore x upon x means 1 so first row is 1 0 0 because 0 uh, upon x 0 0 upon again x 0 second row what 0 upon y again zero y upon y one again this zero upon zero zero upon y zero and last row zero upon z zero again zero upon z zero and last 
छेड़ अपॉन झेड कडू वन सो वी ऑप्टेन द आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स इन टू ए इनवर्स इक्वल टू सिमिलरली फर्स्ट रो डिवाइड बाय एक्स सेकंड रो डिवाइड बाय वाई एंड थर्ड रो डिवाइड बाय झेड सो वन डिवाइड बाय एक्स हेर इज अ वन डिवाइड बाय एक्स एंड हेर अ झीरो अपॉन एक्स झीरो एंड झीरो अपॉन अगेन एक्स झीरो सो झीरो झीरो आर टू डिवाइड बाय वाई सो सेकंड रो डिवाइड बाय वाई झीरो अपॉन वाई अगेन झीरो वन अपॉन वाय वन अपॉन वाय एज इट इज एंड झीरो अपॉन वाय झीरो सो झीरो वन अपॉन वाय एंड अगेन झीरो लास्ट थर्ड रो आर थ्री डिवाइड बाय झेड सो झीरो अपॉन झेड झीरो हेर इज अ झीरो अपॉन झेड अगेन झीरो एंड वन अपॉन झेड एज इट इज सो हेर झीरो झीरो वन अपॉन झेड सो दिस वैल्यू इज कैपिटल आई आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स नोटेशन फॉर आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स इज कैपिटल आई इन टू ए इनवर्स इक्वल टू दिस ऑप्टेड मैट्रिक्स वन अपॉन एक्स झीरो झीरो सेकेंड रो झीरो वन अपॉन वाई झीरो एंड लास्ट थर्ड रो झीरो झीरो वन अपॉन झेड एंड देर फोर आई इन टू एनवर्स मीन्स वन I means uh, identity and identity means uh, take a one so one into n ones again n ones equal to what we get first row as it is zero zero second row zero one upon y and zero and last uh, third row zero zero one upon Jed. So in this uh, manner, we find the a inverse of this uh, diagonal matrix by row transformations. But uh, also one additional problem in this uh, question is that hence find inverse of this uh, diagonal matrix. Hence uh, we find already inverse of this. Uh, डायगोनल मैट्रिक्स हेर इज एक्स इक्वल टू टू वाई इक्वल टू हेर इज वन एंड दिस झेड इक्वल टू माइनस वन सो बाय पुटिंग दिस वैल्यू इन द एंसर वी गेट द इनवर्स ऑफ दिस डायगोनल मैट्रिक्स सो पुट एक्स इक्वल टू दिस टू y equal to this is y equal to one and this last number z equal to minus one. If we compare this uh, diagonal matrix with the uh, this uh, diagonal matrix, so we get x equal to two, y equal to one and z uh, equal to minus one. And by putting these three values of x, y, and z in this uh, solution, we get inverse of also this. Diagonal matrix, and therefore a inverse equal to one upon two zero zero second row zero one upon y is one zero and uh, last row zero zero. And uh, one upon z, z equal to minus one, one upon minus one. So equal to first row as it is half zero zero. Second row zero, one upon one means one and uh, this zero and this zero as it is one upon minus one means 
minus 1 so this uh, 0 this 0 and this uh, minus 1 as it is this 1 upon minus 1 means again minus 1 in this uh, manner we have find the inverse of diagonal matrix inverse of diagonal matrix so that uh, this is a special problem or uh, also entrance exam level if uh, you have given the diagonal matrix then uh, a inverse is so this is important problem for entrance exam okay so again we discuss another problem